Deception becomes a thought pattern. That thought pattern becomes a behavior pattern. That behavior pattern becomes a lifestyle. That lifestyle is what we call spiritual bondage. The problem is that many believers want to address the symptoms, but never the source. They want to address the results, but never the root. And so they're left trying to combat the depression itself, the fear itself, the sin itself, the torment itself, the addiction itself. And of course, you should address those things directly. But while you're also addressing those things directly, you have to ask yourself, how did any of those things gain influence in my life in the first place? For more on spiritual warfare, get Holy Spirit the Bondage Breaker at bondagebreaker.com.